Hey, what's up? My name is Tyler. I'm an artist from the San Jose Bay Area, and this is my YouTube channel. All right, this is officially my first art YouTube video I am making. In this one, I'm gonna be doing something, again, that I've never done before. I am customizing my own Chuck Taylor all white canvas Converse shoes. Never even owned a pair of these before. I've always liked the way they look, but uh, never, never owned a pair. My brother gave me these for Christmas and uh, I'm super hyped to paint on them. Got a couple ideas I'm thinking about. Uh, we're gonna see how it turns out. I used fine liners to do the outlines for the camo designs. I like to have an outline to be able to fill in the shapes with the colors rather than just paint them in. I used Angelus Direct Paint for these shoes. I heard that these were the best pretty much from everybody that paints on shoes that I've seen on YouTube, that does any kind of painting on jackets or any kind of other leather. Any paintings on shoes, Angelus Directs are pretty much the go-to paints. They worked really well for me. I really like the colors. I like the way that they covered. Um, they are seeming to hold up. We'll see how they do over time. If they're durable, they seem to be. Uh, I hope so. I hope that my art lasts. Okay, so I painted in all of those camo shapes. It's uh, this side panel is done other than the white outline. <laughs> like the way that the first side looked but I thought it would be super dope to have double-sided shoes having uh, one colorway on the inside and have another on the outside so I chose green blue turquoise and yellow for this outside and I'm really happy with it I decided to go half and half for the tongue I wanted to do opposite sides do the inside on the outside and the outside on the inside for the tongue. Uh, I know that you can't really see it that well with the laces on, but you, you can see it a little bit and I know it's there, so it's worth it to me. I think it looks dope and I like the process in general. I believe that less is more, but I also have a hard time leaving a lot of white space. So I decided to add these checkers to the sidewalls of the soles on both sides. And uh, I also added it to the back. I really like the checker design. And like I said, I have a hard time leaving too much white space. I wanted it to look like it was totally customized by me all the way my ideas fresh to me and i really like the way the checkers look for the outside i decided to do a hand with an eye doing a little uh, american traditional kind of tattoo style a little reminiscent of uh, some tarot cards i think it's super dope looking and uh, i think it super solid way to finish out the piece finish out the shoes and uh, I think it ties it all together decided to do this for both the outsides of my shoes and I'm really happy with them so I officially finished these shoes I'm super happy with the way they came out it took quite a while but it was all worth it in the end so the final result Bam. So I decided to uh, 
go with a hand with a cool eye in the middle of it. I don't really know exactly why. I thought it was a cool design, kind of came to me. Thought it would pop on the background. I think it did. Inside there, got my, my little tag right there, scarce. Then on the opposite side right here, got a little, little black and white mountain range reflection from the water on the opposite side. Then on this one, got the same same eye and the hand on the outside, on the inside, changed it up. Got a little bit of a little moon going on. And on the backs of both of these, I decided to uh, put my BMX logo. And as you can tell on the trim, on the back and on the sides, I put a little checker, checker design. And overall, I'm just really happy with the way they turned out. Thank you.